What you doing? I'm trimming my beard because <laughs> we're gonna go on a romantic date. For some day. <laughs> Today we're doing something very special because it is Valentine's Day. So we are going on a date. And let me be quite honest, I don't remember the last time that we went on a date. That we went somewhere outside of the boat and like actually went on a dinner date like I don't know, it's been years, easily. And that's probably one of the things about living on a boat that you guys don't realize. And it's that you kind of take each other for granted in a way because you leave, like you literally live 24 seven together. We wake up together, we go to sleep together, we exercise together, we have breakfast together, lunch, dinner. Um, we do kite together, we go spear fishing together, snorkeling together, we sail together, we go on the dinghy together, we take the dogs out together. Two hours later. We don't do one thing <laughs> where we are not together. And so it is very easy for things to go from being a couple and being super in love with each other to just being like roommates and being friends and living like brother and sister. We're so ready to go on a date. Ay, se me cayó mi arete. You look good, baby. You look good. <laughs> Alrighty people, so we're going to the marina. Next to it, there's a little restaurant. So we're going there for our Valentine's Day. Are you ready to stay, Echo? So look at our tomato. It's packed with little tomatoes everywhere. So we are ready to go out on our date. And before we go, I just thought I'd share with you guys a little bit of of what is the reality of living on board 24 seven with your partner. And I think before we jumped into this lifestyle and we lived our regular, I guess a traditional lifestyle where we had corporate jobs and all that stuff, you know, the problem was that we spent more time with other people than together because you go to a job eight hours a day or nine hours a day with, with commuting and all that stuff that you completely forget about the other person. You barely have any time to spend together. And so at that time, we would actually be just, you know, seeing each other for when we would go to sleep or maybe breakfast like super fast because we had to go and we had to commute, go all the way, 30 minutes drive all the way to Miami. And that's about how it went. And now it's the complete opposite. We get to spend all the time, literally 24 seven together and it also has its own little problems and if we have them i'm sure other people living on a sailboat or living on a van or an rv or living an alternative lifestyle have to encounter the same kind of problems so what are those problems you're thinking well when you spend 24 hours with your partner it's so easy to get used to being around them so maybe you stop trying to look pretty maybe you forget about being loving or showing some love to your partner and maybe you just Hey, why am I gonna look nice today if we're not doing anything? I'm not going anywhere. We're just gonna stay here on the boat, maybe go to the beach. Why look nice? You know, those kind of little things are the details in your everyday. And that is what makes a difference whether you stay in love with each other or whether you don't. But let's just go and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Cause if not, I'll start talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bye kids! Don't jump off the boat! We'll be back!
really good time. I had some fish tacos and Alejo had some chicken wings and we really had a great time. It was very romantic, which we don't normally do romantic. But just to finish off the topic, guys, I just wanted to say that if you think that, you know, because we live on a boat or because we have a different kind of lifestyle than what most people have, we don't encounter those kind of relationship problems and that is not correct. We have our own relationship issues just like any other couple and so you build your relationship every single day through love and through choosing to love one another every every single day. Alejo has completely different ways of showing love. I have completely different ways. <laughs> Baby, you're not helping with the... Me estás cagando en el video. Okay. We wake up in the morning and we have to hug each other and we have to give each other a kiss and not to just like wake up and each one his, goes his own way and especially since we're like involved in social media it's so easy to just grab your phone and turn around and forget about the other person and you know just be focused on your phone and... Why are you laughing? Because I am. Can you give the guys some tips on how you how you think our relationship works? Yes. So you you just gotta work each day and do the relationship work. That means kissing, hugging, and and just being connected. You know, because sometimes like we can literally be together and be so away from each other if we're not really connected to one another. You know, we can just be thinking about work or thinking about the boat or he could be focused on his boat stuff and looking at cameras online and on the computer and I could just be you know doing my own thing and we would be literally right next to each other the entire day yet super super far away like mentally and spiritually but makes any sense right so I don't know we have to be connecting with each other and show each other some love and do like different things and always make sure to i don't know to be happy to be happy you think that make us happy right yes. <laughs> <laughs>